Here he is, filled with real rain. Unfortunately, it's very dull, so it's not showing off the, the glass to advantage. It's on the stand. That's been, it's galvanised. It's been etched and stained by the acid etch, and it needs to be painted yet. And when it's painted, it will be darker, like it looks at the foot where it's damp. So, <coughs> I've just arrived at this extra addition here. Now the plan was to put in a piece of um, of handmade glass, a big thick chunk, and then cut it all to fit either the slate or the glass. And that green um, echoes the soft aqua green of the micro mosaic around the edge. Should have taken the water out. Or looking at some other possibilities, this round off-cut of slate with something plugged in the middle there, maybe a bit of turquoise. Or I've got some lovely pieces of found glass. And this one's got an A on it, if that bore any relevance. And it could all be just cut into to fit in there. And like a window, the light would come through any glass that went in there. This piece, bottle end, fits in there really snugly, like that. I could cut it, the aperture, to fit more. Hang on, let's just sit that down a minute. And then that edge just comes down quite nicely and it could be humped up like that, left, to, left as a mound, but embedded round the edge. So there's a bit of a texture feature there, catching the light. Um, something a bit more random, it's a lovely colour and this one's got an E on it and we'd have to think about how that went in but that would be more rugged, beautiful colour um, and I've got this piece of glass, I'm not quite sure, it looks like a piece of art glass, something very thick anyway um, and it, these are these are sea, you know, um, beach finds so that could perhaps go in there but it's a bit, I don't know, it goes with the it goes with the other glass that's in there. But again, that's more kind of abstract and random. So I'll just go through those again. So there's that one. In fact, I'll take still shot.